Hi guys, it's 2023 and I still have a lot of albums, even though I sold a lot of them. Yeah, so let's talk about my shelves again. <laughs> so literally nothing have changed here. Oh no, wait, I got the Needle and Bubble album, which is the last new Isla album. I've been tempted to get Junkhyun's solo, but I have to say no to myself because uh, I can't support everyone. I mean, normally I would have, but I really need to control myself. <laughs> then there is Oh My Girl, and I only got the special version of uh, their second album. And normally I would have gotten the normal versions as well, but I said probably they have very similar pictures, if not the same, because like they don't really do very different versions. <laughs> so yeah, it's enough. <laughs> Then the ONF connection stayed as it was. Of course, Pristin is still here, so this is kind of a Pledis shelf, and this is a WM shelf. Yeah, and then I still have the very same Monster X albums over here. Yep. Then there are the two SNSD albums, my Bises. Then the extra play copies and the extra replay copies. There is the last year's. The, well, the year before, as I'm telling release, uh, the new one is pre-ordered. And then there are some SM Town stuff. Yep. And then... Let's go here. Uh, where do I start? Let's start with non suju somehow, I guess. Um... Well, there is shiny, the end collection have not changed. Then, of course, this didn't change either. The UK's Speed and 24K albums are still here. Then, well, that's kind of like, like, like that together. So there is DB5 Cave with, with the start of uh, JYJ and Homin. And then that's where it continues with the bigger albums. I have not gotten the latest. I'm not sure if I will. So that's how it is. It's like I already have so many albums. <laughs> then let me just make this stand up because like two days ago or sometime it like fell. Because I actually checked these out. Oh! Because these are not proper jewel cases, all of them. The Mattown albums are not. It's kind of hard to make them stand. Oh, come on. Just do that a bit. And then I can make it stand. <laughs> it's a struggle, as you can see. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... That's it for my tiny Japanese J, J and J5 collection. I used to want to have older Japanese releases, but that's not realistic. I have all of Mad Towns because they have a very tiny collection in Korea anyway, so yeah. Then above it, there is, a, well, most of it is my after school collection, which is almost complete. I just want to have Dress to Kill, but I'm not really searching for it and I don't <laughs> see how I'm gonna get it if I'm not searching for it. <laughs> then some Kara and then Ji Young's solos and the very one Da Shabet Japanese release. And then there is Tiara, who I never ended up completing either. In a way, after school looks better, but they have less releases. But yeah, Tiara looks really pretty there. I wish I could say I'm gonna complete it, but <laughs> we all know that's unlikely to happen. Then there are some more boy groups next to the Mashinki here. Um, so that's it. that is my Gia collection and my Town and my Infect collection. I have a thing for Star Empire groups because they actually have some of the best music in K-pop, so... I also got Minus first uh, release, my Gia biases, but then I didn't get his others, so I think he had one more at least. But yeah, 
and then in fact have last left Star Empire anyways. But yeah, I have all their releases. Their songs are also really good. Then there is um, Shima and Infinite. So let's look at Infinite first. Starts there. And then I have some Japanese, which I'm gonna keep those, but not gonna get more. So like it, it's pretty... Some days, not very often, uh, I think about maybe selling the limited ones, because they are big, like those two albums, I mean, but then I think, oh, it was really good times. <laughs> so, yeah. And then there's Shinwa. I didn't get the new, how would you say, like, WDJ, that's so weird like i don't want to say it like that they're single i do often hear their songs in shorts because uh youtube realized that i like jimba so sometimes those shorts pop up but uh, yeah it's like i try to not buy new releases maybe that no i don't know <laughs> and then the girl groups of course there is fx still the same they don't have new raises, then same with nine muses. It's really pretty like this. Then there is Tiara. Of course, like last year I already had it, but they had the re Tiara album, so that's really great. Uh it's a really good album too, so yep. Then of course there is after school with the thin albums. And then it just moves to Kara with also thin albums, but then they have regular sized albums too. <laughs> and uh, I actually am getting the new release. Yeah, I, I, my slight bias towards girl groups shows again. <laughs> if you're not super junior, at least you should be a girl group. So. <laughs> yeah. And then there is, of course, Dashabat, who also don't do anything anymore either. Yeah. But the new release of Kara is really great. Uh, so when I move and then I'm gonna get that. Hopefully I get Jiyong God Kyuri cards. I really hope for Jiyong cards. She doesn't have many. <laughs> yeah. And then, okay, let's look at some other non-suju, above suju. Lovelies is still here. They have some of the most beautiful albums. And they are not going to do anything anymore either. Then there is La Boom, who I also didn't get uh, their latest release, but most likely I want. The sound is a bit different. Yeah. And then Hello Venus is not really doing anything anymore either. Neither Sonamu. Then there is the same status of my Red Velvet collection. Like, um, actually, Sugi's album made me tempted. <laughs> so if I get anything, that would be Sugi's album. Like, uh, 28 Reasons is so good. Like, only that song already. Uh, not to mention it's Sugi. So, yeah. April is not gonna do anything anymore either. Then there is Dreamcatcher, who I also kind of stopped collecting but keeping all the albums because, well, they are beautiful and I love their music. And yeah, I'm down to one version each album, but I think that was already like this last year. Then there is A Pink. They did have a new release at the beginning of last year, which I did get one. So I guess like I think is kind of doing what like Tiara and Kara did. So I don't know if they are gonna be more active, but maybe they are. Maybe they will have yearly comebacks, but I don't know. Nine has left, so yeah. If they have group stuff, I listen to it, and if I like it, I consider. <laughs> yeah, some some reason like A Pink has been like. I like the fact that they have rare comebacks, and when they do, those are really good. And like, I like that, like, we are an older group kind of style. Those are the best, <laughs> because that's the normal style that I was used to when I got into K-pop. <laughs> now it's just older group style. And then, of course, there is SNSD as well. I did get Hyoyeon's solos. Those are the new ones. I never thought I would see, see Hyoyeon have a solo, 
but she did so I got both versions I guess along with aping sometime like that I didn't get like the latest SNSD release Forever One it was okay I did listen to the album but uh, I didn't like it as much as I did with Holiday for example like that's such an iconic album for me so I didn't get it but I still liked it enough like I'm glad they had a comeback then of course Rainbow is not doing any other stuff but uh, yeah they are hanging out so that's great and I actually for some reason only started to watching business I only started to watch business proposal recently and actually no is in it so that's great she's my bias um, but I think I already saw that when the drama aired she was posting about it and on her insta but now I remembered she made me remember then of course there's some Wonder Girls and some me but I'm not gonna get more it's it's a pretty good collection like this it's around I think this is their best stuff in my personal opinion then there is Girls Day I have two albums of theirs but honestly they would deserve for me to get more but I'm just not gonna then there is Bestie and Stellar who are just amazing they had really good music then there is my Twice collection which is a pretty good collection but the thing is like recently if you ask me what is the group the k-pop group that i would listen to most besides super junior that would be actually twice so i don't know i just feel drawn to them these past couple months like i don't always listen to k-pop i listen to more just american pop music or british but yeah when i listen to k-pop it all almost all, all the time it's twice and can't stop me now is basically like my new favorite title track actually i got out of k-pop right before that was released so that's interesting <laughs> yeah and there's some tahiti albums and unity and favorite all great music and then exid and then the two aoa albums i still had last year so brown Eyed goes and ses I am pretty content with this. It's like, of course, if you're not a K-pop fan, this looks like a crazy collection. But if you're a K-pop fan and you like know maybe how big my collection used to be, this is very solid and like not much. <laughs> and it's like, it shows that I picked the things I wanted the most, I guess. And then there are the solos. Uh, I, I kept Shimon's, Kang Shimon's solo because it's a really good album and then Changha and Boa I don't have their latest releases I'm considering getting Changha's because I actually quite okay like that as for Boa's I didn't like it as much as the previous ones but yeah I would rather get copy and paste which I still don't have mentioned it last year but I still don't have it yeah then let's move to the boy groups this changed a bit I'm sorry, like now that the shelf is not full, they don't like to stand much. So, yeah, so the some 2 pm albums I have, and they are great like this. Then A Style and Double S 501. Some. Oh. Uh, DSP Media. Like, I almost forgot the company name. How they are terrible. Then some DGNA. They have great music so I kept those and then surprise the actor group so I still really enjoy watching dramas with any of the boys in surprise then these are the Wix albums I kept I basically cut down on two versions and then just kept like these this is the Wix for me I know like I did like previous stuff like I used to have a, a Rocky body but uh, like this is when I got it the Wix chained up I think it's like the best release still but then I like these as well, so I kept these. <laughs> then Snooper with the Sweet Tune sound. Some of the best music. I love Sweet Tune. So, and I'm never gonna get Platonic Love at this point. Then of course Teen Top. They are iconic too. And then Kinakin. I just don't have the heart to let go of these albums. They were special. Then Alphabet, who I saw, who I have seen like three times. So... <laughs> Uh, they are special for me then B1A4 the two albums I have and then some EXO some of my favorite albums and the uh, Chen related stuff yeah 
and then of course there is my JBJ collection not likely to grow anymore but they were honestly great so yeah that's why they're still there look at them hmm. and on my super junior collection I don't even know where to start um, yeah so they're the fan site don't have photo books um, didn't change one day I think just for continuity I wouldn't mind getting the first SG no that's a different first F fish for the book those two are the second and third it turns out I always thought I have the first and second then it turns out those are the second and third yeah I was an idiot there <laughs> then uh, these are the bigger super junior albums thankfully they didn't didn't have more so it still fits like this like these are the member version and all the colors of the sexy free and single like uh, like I actually think it's crazy that I have these like it would be really hard to make a collection like this today So like I, I am proud of these <laughs> But you kind of had to be there at the right time to actually have these like I was really late like almost too late for Mr. Simple But I managed to collect all the versions when I decided to collect because originally I just wanted Don Hei Chol and Sungmin and then I got the other seven like a year or more later but then they were almost out of print at that time and now it's harder to get you might be able to get a couple it's not impossible but it's more of a struggle now then of course there are all the photo books there I, I don't think I got any new like the, what I didn't talk about last year of course the Dong He Sesi, Dong He Kolmar sign and the Super Show 8 photo book would be like the newest stuff then what is that you really can't see it what's under colmar sign um i think that must be the like anniversary for the book because yeah is it that big i don't remember probably it's that big that's why it's there normally it would have been like standing up properly i need to flip that through again now i feel like i need to do that so yeah, those are the photo books. Then here are some even bigger stuff. Oof, the cat is so dusty. Let's remove that. So of course uh, some notebooks because I like small notebooks. Then behind there are the clear files that you can't really see, but that's a pretty good like major donkey clear file collection, actually. And then there is the light stick in the pouch, and then like big uh, Attack on the Pinup Boys making book, huge like super show brushers. Uh, ah, that's the Beyond Life brusher. So, like, these are big, as you can see, they wouldn't be able to fit in my regular 31 centimeter tall shelves. And then these are like the LPs of the KRY solos, basically, that's where the LPs are. And then these are the new, newish um, Super Blue Party for the 10th anniversary of Al Japan. Like this is my proper copy, and this is a copy without the discs. So if anyone is interested, I can send you like basically the pictures. <laughs> and then this case, uh, yeah, I know nobody's gonna want that. And then some SM Town brochures, of course, and like big Super Show 4 posters. I think those are posters. Yeah, but they are really big, so they are staying back there, and then I can't look at them much, so, like, hmm. Then there's the first light stick box, of course, and there's the Hero Japan album, it's big, and then the Super Show 4 in Japan Limited DVD, which is also very big, so it stays here. Um, yeah, and then that's it for this messy shelf. Then I actually, did I get it since then? Yeah, okay, so these are the binders, like the Super Junior one, the, is it the Timeless? Oh no, not Timeless, not Time Sleep, Time, 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 what's the mid between one? The B version, what's it called? Timeline, sorry, <laughs> Timeline binder that has all my Super Junior star cards in it. And then that has some other cards in it, the DNA one too, but like not official, I think. Then there are some boxes that came with like Polaroids or whatever official merch 
and then all the postcard boxes are there and this is actually a thing that i got uh this is a super show four of course it's a cushion but actually actually it's a blanket two in one thingy um i remember it being sold on ebay in the very beginning when i started collecting and i was like oh that's so cool and then i wanted to get it but of course then it, it became like out of print and whatever it's a concert goods concert merch so it's hard to get and then since i remember that little literally 10 years before how much i wanted this i thought it wasn't too expensive so i just got it off mercury whenever i actually got this without blu-rays um yeah so but i think it's really cute it's smaller than i expected it originally but for some reason super show four goods hold a special place in my heart because those are the ones that i saw around like ebay that time when i was just searching for the regular albums like i was just starting off the very beginning uh early 2012 so no 2012 yeah okay that's the correct number yeah so i got it 10 years later Oops. okay how was this here okay then let's go japanese so there is all the jewel case japanese releases they, they look really nice here, I just like looking at them. And then there is a Harumag from Donkhead's shop thingy. Then these are the F fan club kits, the first one and the second one. And then these are the bigger, well, uh, all the bigger things, I guess. So first you have the DNA stuff here. Sorry, no. No, that's the DNA. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. First, on the left, you have, of course, KRY, because KRY debuted first. Their Traveler release. But it's just so confusing because they all look the same. So, yeah. And then the bigger DNA stuff, of course, which contains Wings, their Japanese release. And then the empty popcorn boxes. And then the bigger Super Junior Japanese releases that don't fit with the jewel cases except for the Mr. Simple LP size, which is, of course, with the regular Mr. Simple Korean album one. So, yeah, there are, like, the very early singles, then some F Japan, like, this looks weird, but, yeah, <laughs> those releases. And then, of course, ending with Star. Is that Kihan related? No, that's just random. Oh, it's Kihan related. It was an extra, I'm pretty sure, for F Japan thing. So, yep. Yeah. This looks a bit messy for my liking, but that's how the releases are. They can't look as nice as those. <laughs> then there are the same things with DNA, the Japanese releases, and then like anything that's jewel case size. Then of course there's the This Is Love albums, which are beautiful. And then these are my extra copies of Devil and Magic. And there's some more extra merch that I only got because of photo cards, which I'm not doing anymore. So those are there. And then... Uh, I love these. These are so pretty. Oh my god, I love looking at these DVDs. So these are the... Like, of course, you start off here with Otakon, the Pinup Boys, the OST and the VCD version is also there. And then just the comic book, which I already mentioned last year. And then I have the regular DVD of the Super Show 4 concert. I always used to have the Super Show 5 one. And then I have, which is new, the regular DVD of the first DNA tour. Yeah. And then I, I think I had this last year, but that's the special F Japan photo book for the Super Junior M Guest House thingy. So that's fairly new. Then this is actually really new, the Super Show 6 regular DVD. Of course, the case is like the same that's in the limited DVD. But yeah, got that. Then missing for the second DNA tour and KRY. 
those are in general just harder to search because you get a lot of other things that you're not really looking for but hard to do like figure out the proper search terms then like the super tvs are not together i reorganized it and it now makes more sense and then the three returns are like before so it's it's kind of weird but like <laughs> I think that's how it makes sense. Like return is of course uh, before play, and then after play they had the Korean Super Show, and then they started doing the Super TV stuff. Meanwhile, somehow the DNE tour also happened, and then the return too is right around the time when Ryok is back, and it's uh, one more time time, and then Super Show Seven in Japan was after one more time when they released the. Uh, one more time Japanese singles and these are concert versions as well so that's why Super Show 7 is here and I have the regular DVD of the style tour yeah. and then I have the regular DVD of Super Show 7 and the regular Blu-ray of Super Show 7 as well these are kind of new I never thought I would get to this point to actually get the regular ones and then Super Show 8 in Korea and then in Japan and then COVID, and that's the Super Blue Party regular DVD and regular Blu-rays. Um, let's look at one because never did an unboxing. So yeah, they look the same, they are the same, just different discs. And then even newer stuff. So this is from 2021 and in 2022, the special event ha they had in Japan is Return of the King, <laughs> like the JYJ stuff. And Lord of the Rings. So this is that the regular DVD version, and I also have the regular Blu-ray. And then the limited Blu-rays. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started on that. So actually, like they look different. So I guess that Sun did it, but like this looks the same color, but this doesn't anymore. So we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> yeah. Um two years between those so that's it for this section of the shelf like arguably this is my favorite it is my favorite <laughs> then we're here of course these are the solo releases so of course for hanging or like hitchell mnd yeah, i have those then hanging two of his each of his releases then uh, yes songs solo like all versions and then like even the Kino ones, and then uh, Beautiful, which also has a beautiful night, so it has a tape as well, which I also showed last year. Yeah, and then his Japanese releases, so like the first, second, and third one, like it's like, it's third, right? Yeah, it's Splash is second, okay, now I remember. And then uh, there is uh, Song Means Solo. Then Chomi's two releases, then there is Ryoki's solo. Yeah. And then the very tiny Japanese he has, and then Kyuhyun has more Kino as well, but that's supposed to be here, but it just doesn't fit. So it stays on the top of the Japanese releases. Yeah, and then some tiny Henry albums, even Japanese. Then Look at that, that's a donkey headband, light headband. <laughs> and then uh, member versions, opera puzzle pieces and I thank you. The one more time concert ones are smaller so they stay over there. And then very interesting I have Japan release <laughs> of one more time. And then there's this Gangnam Doll thingy and the mini light stick. Wait, I did get the other one. Of course I did. <laughs> that was after I stopped collecting, but I did manage to get that too. So I even surprised myself with this. Like it's hidden there. So, and there was the two necklaces I had. And then the chocolate box with some spoiled chocolate inside it. Yeah, and then, um, oh, sorry, units, which yeah <laughs> this is annoying 
So there is a KRY with the Korean release and the Hyanna West is also a Korean release but I like the Jewel cases together so maybe if they have another Korean mini album or something then I would move Hyanna before it but yep. Then there are Japanese releases, then T, then M to here of course and then happy here and then the any of course starts off like considering how hard it was for SM to release the first mini album like they just took ages then they suddenly did this like yeah like so many versions finally I got all three photo books at least there so yeah that's great but really honestly like collecting bad that's a nightmare. Like, I didn't like that. I didn't enjoy it that much. But now that I have it, I'm glad I have it and I'm proud of that collection. And then uh, the first album, Countdown, of course, is there. Yeah, with the box. Then let's look at, of course, these releases. <sighs> Finally, I moved and now I have a place for the Japanese version of CD DVD version of Don Don. It looks really nice. I like these old albums. I just love looking at them. Honestly, I know I'm nostalgic, but it was more fun collecting and then finding weird random Japanese and Taiwanese differently shaped, different packaging albums. Yeah, like these are annoying like though. These literally came with the same photo cards as the Korean album, just sharp edges, so they are different and like, oh no. At least these came with the original ones with jacket cards, Don Don and Sorry Sorry ones. Yeah, then my release. <laughs> when I got into them, my first comeback with them, Sex Free and Single is special like that. <laughs> then Mama Sita, and then of course, this is Love Devil and Magic and the Kino album, and then Play, Pause, Replay. There's the Kino album, we even have two of it. Yeah. And then one more time, regular special time slip in the beautiful box. I love those albums, those are so pretty. Then Timeline, and then there is the Timeless. Now they are separated by this. Um, but uh, actually, apparently this can, the color can rub off on this one. So, yeah. Then the Renaissance albums, which never got a repackage or anything. But 10th album, so I can deal with it. It's special. Then the Road multiple releases. And now they have the normal version of the Road. It took them a year to release an album. <laughs> and half of it is only Christmas album. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bitter. Maybe a bit I am. I really hope 12th trip will be like a proper album, let's say. Yeah, so I ordered all versions, of course. Yeah, so that was it. Yeah, we talked about the K pop shelves this year as well. Didn't change much, but I talked again, even showed some of the same things, but there is some change. Yeah some tiny change yeah and uh... oh i need to put the cap back thank you for watching bye